Y'all just seen, we just got here through the Uber, with the Uber. Hey everyone has said, big SRT is right here. Now today's gonna be the day we change the headlight. I don't know why I say headlights with the hood. We're gonna change the hood because the hood is crashed. If y'all are new to the channel, y'all know I bought my car. Right? Or we should say somebody hit me. A lot of y'all are new and y'all are subscribed. And today we hit 8,000 subscribers. So if you are coming from the car crash or any of the other videos, I appreciate y'all so much for subscribing and giving a young nigga like me a chance. But this is my car. My car has been crashed. My car has been hit. In the last video, we drove the car up to the hardware store to get the bolts for the um, bumper. Today, we are going to drive it just a little bit. We'll come back and take the hood off and i want to drive it with no hood you know what i'm saying so look at the car no headlight on the driver's side one headlight on this side what's the good thing we got all the parts we're just waiting on the headlights headlights come here next week and then the car will be back normal so yeah man this is crazy i appreciate everybody that's coming to the channel support me you do got ash here. oh my god we're gonna get lotion but this car has been sitting like for a minute so Oh my gosh. Oh, it's warm in here for sure. Woo. Smell the same. I'm going to tap back in with y'all in a second. We're going to see if the car is ready to drive. I might put some lotion on, I'll tell you that. Uh, SRT pages. So, boom, go to gate is one. Let's see what the temper's at. The temper is definitely ready. So, I'm going to put some lotion on my hands because this shit is crazy. Then we're going to go on a little drive and then I'm going to tap back in with y'all when it's time to go. A few minutes later. Right, so check this out. Um, We are out in the car. Um, Today has been eventful already. If you don't got me on Instagram, you missed my Instagram live. Go right here. It's going to be on the screen. Link inside the description. Go hit me up on Instagram. So you won't miss another live. So we are just gonna do a little bit of cutting up. I have two mods to put on in this video. Not no crazy mods. You know, just two little simple mods. And then yeah, let's turn the heat down because it, it's kind of hot in here. So today is gonna be the day we change the hood. And the next video we should have the headlights and the bumper put on. So that's all we waiting on is the headlights to come in and everything is going to be pretty much done. I can take the car home and not have to, don't hit me, please don't hit me, and not, not have to worry about nothing else. This boy driving so aggressive. We got it in the street. Like the car just backfiring, like so crazy. Y'all, me not having my car is a crazy feeling. I'm so used to having a car in general. And now that my car has been down, I've been at home a lot more, you know? So. It's been a little different because I'm so used to being able to do what I want to do as I want to do it. You know, not having to count on nobody or nothing like that. But I ain't tripping. It's for a good car. The car going to come back better than ever. I got a lot of stuff in mind that we can do. And then, yeah, we've been just going crazy a lot. Let's just check the temperature. Y'all know I'm listening that Lucky right there. And we had to put the lotion on the hands on the guys. The temperature's at 206, but that's not bad because... I was just like tripping. When I tell y'all I was in Mexico tripping, literally like tripping, like going crazy. I want to do a burnout for real, bro. Which one of these blocks can I go crazy on? Let me see. Let me see. I just want to act crazy real quick. That smell of that rubber is just undefeated. Look at them. I don't know who block I'm terrorizing. If I'm in y'all hood and I'm terrorizing y'all block, let me know. I'm terrorizing somebody block. He probably damn near shit himself. But yeah, I'm out here terrorizing somebody block. Let me see. Do we go? That's hot. Like, I'm driving this car for content, and it's hot as hell, like. Bro, there's no way. There's no way my car should be this loud, bro. Maybe it's because I haven't been driving it. I kind of forgot how it sound, but it is loud, like, overly loud, bro. Like, it's crazy. 
Alright y'all, it is freezing outside. So we're gonna drop the back windows so y'all can hear it. And then yeah, because it, it is cold. It is 32 degrees outside. And boy outside, no cap. The grind don't stop to the casket drop. And guess what? We're gonna take advantage of this. This is new year. Your boy feeling good. Your boy feeling motivated. The channel is going in the right direction. And so, I mean, what's better than that? So, oh look, this is space and opportunity. Traction already off. Oh, we in the street. Let's go to sport mode. We're gonna get a little bit crazy for y'all, man. Just cause y'all been going crazy. Support me, subscribing and stuff like that. First gear, let's do a little burnout. Let's see. Not nothing too, too crazy, you know what I'm saying? They was scared as, oh shit. They bumper like mines, hallelujah. Let's go back to drive. And we gonna stay in sport mode. Oh my God, that, that fresh rubber smell. <sighs> kind of stink. But. Oh my God. And why do one of y'all tell me I got a takeover scat? Yo, chill. This ain't a takeover scat. Oh my God. Every chance it gets, it's so cold. My tires are so bored. The car is just breaking loose. But we're gonna pull up back the pack of punch because the car is, is is so illegal right now. It's, it's crazy to say. So I don't want to get in any trouble. We're gonna pull back up the loudies and uh maybe we might do another burnout in front of the shop. I'm gonna see what he has to say about that. And it is cold as hell. Like I don't know. I'm gonna tap back in with, with y'all in one second. So y'all, we just made it back to pack of punch, and until we get the car inside of there, I believe he's working on something. We're gonna leave the car out here parked outside and then we're gonna get it ready to change the hood in one second. Say, look at that. Oh my God, this look crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like that shit look absolutely nuts. But nevertheless, let's see what's going on in Pack Plus Performance. On the screen, this is my sponsor. As y'all been knowing, he has been the guy that's been helping me out with all my projects. The Chrysler 300, the Takeover Scat, as y'all say. It's SRT, by the way, so don't let the snorkels fool you. One hour later. So now that they put out the garage, we can pull in the garage. Let's get a little remote start on the car. It sounds so crazy on startup. I tell y'all, I haven't really heard my car in so freaking long. Without further ado, let's get inside the car. Let's get ready to take off this nasty looking hood. The stripes are gonna be on this hood. We're gonna put a new hood on here and I'm trying to figure out if we wanna bring the purple back or what we gonna do. I'm leaning towards keeping the purple because the purple is it's legendary for me. It has a lot of meaning behind it. And I'm not done with it, honestly. Honestly, the purple hasn't even been on the car for so long. Like it's been on here for like maybe two-ish, three-ish months or so. So I don't feel like I'm done with the purple. So we were gonna keep the purple, but I don't know. We gotta see. What the car is telling me, it's a left turn signal out because we don't have a headlight on that side. So the car is sensing we don't have headlights, but it won't be like that for long. Uh, uh, as y'all see in the thumbnail, we are standing on the hood. Like, the hood is, is it's over with, bro. It's over with. But we got the new hood right there. We gonna put the new hood on and, yikes. This, hey, the, uh, the stripe's so, so straight. That's why I gotta come here to pack the punch performance. Anything that y'all ever see me get done, it's about him, you know what I'm saying? So, if y'all wanna get y'all stuff done for a good price, good quality work, right here on the screen, Pack a Punch Performance, he's gonna be the first link inside my description. Y'all go follow him, show him some love. See, he put up my bullshit, you know what I'm saying? We got the Memorial SRT here, and uh, I couldn't ask for a better sponsor, I'm not gonna lie to you. Hood is done for. <laughs> if anybody need a hood, let me know, free of charge, you know what I'm saying? It's bored, but let's pop this. Holy fuck, jeez, so. Right here, we have the brand new hood. 
We'll be ready to put the hood on. I'm going to set the tripod up so y'all can see real good. We're finna get to work. And I'll tell y'all the hood is, is finished. Sheesh. Bro. So did we bring the purple back? I, I'm not really, I'm not. Yeah, that one car copy, you know what I'm saying? At least you could be able to come back a punch, you know? But I don't think I'm done with the purple. Like, the purple's so hard to me. Like, I'm not done with it. Just in case y'all haven't been, like, in tune with the videos, this is the hood I got, and this is the front bumper. Now, this front bumper, I think, is a 2020 front bumper. So it has snorkels, it has a scat pack badge. So we're gonna take the scat pack badge off. So when it's time to put the bumper on, we're gonna take the scat pack badge off. I still have my SRT emblem. But y'all, this is the hood. So that's nothing crazy, a black hood. Uh, basically the same exact hood that comes on all the scat packs and stuff like that. But what I first do, I'm gonna set the tripod up. You finna get the hood taken off and the new hood taken on, putting on. And then yeah, so that's gonna be pretty much it. Besides the little two mods we got, we got some puddle lights. Then we got a license plate cover, which is none too crazy. Just to have more fun of content videos. Take off the shocks. These are the shocks, right, for it. Okay. So all right, now explain to them real quick. You gotta take this pin off. Make sure y'all got something to pry the hood up. The hood will fall on you. And I believe it's like two bolts on each side. So a 13 here, a 13 here, and two over there. And that's gonna let the hood come all the way off the car. So I'm gonna set y'all back up on the tripod, and then we're gonna do like a little time lapse of the game done. So basically, we gotta take this off so we can take off the little lines that connect the hood with the um the little wiper squirters, whatever, whatever it's called. So it's a couple pins down here. You gotta just use like this one right here. It's a few down there, and it's gonna better take this off because everything on this hood gotta be disconnected. Like that, it's ready to come down. We got one more pin on this side. So what is it supposed to like, stop the heat coming onto the hood? Okay, so we're gonna need this then. We're gonna set this right and right here. I don't know if that hood, or that, no, that hood got one it look like. Yeah, okay, so boom. Next is gonna be the two 13s. I'm gonna do the ones on this side. He's gonna do the ones on that side. But yeah, that's for the, the windshield wiper fluid. I don't know how that comes apart. So if you ever gotta change the hood, it's gonna be the two 13s on each side. The line right here for the windshield wiper fluid. Uh, the pins out of that gotta come off to let that off. And then that's gonna be pretty much about it now. The tricky part of getting this hood put on is going to be lining it up so the fender gaps won't be noticed or like it won't be none at all. A lot of people that take their hood off, they put the hood back on and it's a, a crazy fender gap on each side. So it'll be close on this side and like far on that side. So you got to make sure it's going to be on there correctly and not have a big gap. It's just coming off just like that. Then we're going to be good. Just got the hood taken off the car. Nah, it look crazy. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you. Driving a car like this it is nuts. It's no hood. No hood ain't that bad, but no hood, no front bumper. One headlight is it's crazy. So that's pretty much about it. It's pretty much easy to take off. Just don't lose these pins and stuff like that, and you're gonna be perfect. Twelve seconds later. Just to okay, Charles, real quick. We got the new hood put back on. This side is aligned pretty good, but this line have a little bit of gap between the hood and the fender. So we're going to take the bolts out the fender and push it over, put the bolts back in or whatever to see if that's the reason why we have a little bit of gap because. It's like a tiny bit. It's not nothing crazy, but it's just big enough, you know? That's what you're gonna do real quick. You need me to push it over? So let's close it and then look at the gap. That's fine. It look like it, yeah. yeah 
Which is, then y'all see the gap on this side. It's like more flush. We got the hood on the car now. We have to hook up the rest of the windshield wiper fluid stuff. So I believe we gotta take these pins back off, right? Yeah. So take the pins back off of this one. Cause this hood came with it. Get everything back connected, boom, boom, boom. Then we're gonna be done. But like I said, I do have a license plate cover I'm about to put on in the puddle lights. Just to have a little bit more content for this video, because this video seems like it's gonna be short so far. So hopefully this video is like 15 and 20-ish minutes or so. So if you are new to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Help your boy out, because we are in the algorithm pretty deep. Like the video's been going crazy. I don't even know how to explain it. Like all I did was crash my car. Well, a lady hit me, I crashed my car, and the channel been up. They can show y'all how the universe is, how the metal world is. Like, they like to see bad stuff happen. But anyways, if you came to the channel because of that video, I appreciate y'all so much, because the comeback is definitely gonna be real. So as y'all see in that corner, they got the bumper right there. The bumper will be put on real soon. Oh, hood is just crumbled. Like, look. Sheesh. The car is so filthy. When the car comes back and it's finished, we got to get a detail, man. Because just look. The car has been sitting for like three weeks. Like, my car has never been this dirty ever. So, we're going to get a detail. Um, I don't know who's going to do it. But that's like the least of the worries right now. So y'all, we just ran into a little bit of, of a problem. These connections, because this came off of 2020, I guess it's different. So it, like the, this is supposed to be plugged in somewhere. So I don't know if that didn't work like that on the 2020s, if it's just different. So what we did was we took off the the, uh, the sprayers off of this hood, my old hood, and they are like right here. So we're gonna disconnect the old system so I can still have it and everything should plug and play. So most likely if y'all changing the hood, y'all gonna run into this problem if you're having like an older 2015-ish model then want to put like a 2020-ish and up model on. As so long as you got the old hookup, it doesn't really matter. If you don't got it, I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna just be shit out of luck at this point. That's what we was talking about. So this one's a wire that's plugged in the back. This one don't. Yeah. So if y'all going from a older style, I'm not gonna say style hood, but a older hood to like the newer hood, you're gonna have to take your old system off the older hood, put on a new hood. Everything is gonna plug and play because that's just how they did it. So I guess, I don't know at the what year, so I guess this is a 15, so maybe like at the 18 or 19, they changed it. So this is just FYI. So we back to the old system. Now all we gotta do is put this little heat shield back up with the pins. We can close the hood, make sure the wiper, you know what I'm saying, stuff work, and then that's gonna be it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the puddle lights in. Should we put the puddle, puddle lights in? Or? Yeah, this will be extra little bit more content, but I'm about to set this back down to help him get this heat shield back up. We should be able to close the hood just like that and then get in here make sure it works so oh shit definitely didn't mean to turn the car on how the hell do you i'm just thinking that it was empty which it damn near is but this little plug in right here was not plugged up so this should be it it should work now Let's see. Yep, there we go. So y'all, problem solved. If you're gonna upgrade to a newer same model hood, make sure you got all the system. Now we can just close this and we're gonna be done with that. It ain't even closed. So we're gonna be done with that. And then it's time to do the puddle lights and then the um, license plate cover. I've been needing a license plate cover for the longest. I just now was able to order one. So these are puddle lights right here. Not nothing too crazy, but those right there are shining yellow and nasty looking. Here you go, my guy. So instead of having that like that, it's gonna light up 
think it's a whitish blue. It's gonna say SRT. So, boom. I'm about to take this out the wrapper and get the license plate cover put on. Y'all, check this out. We are pretty much done for the night. The hood is on here, nice and secure. Um, the SRT lights I bought, it said it'll fit the chargers from 06 to 2021. But when you try to hook them up, they don't work. Like the one that's on here is like a bigger like piece. The other one's like skinnier piece. So he just hooked it up with the LED white light right up under there. So it don't gotta be yellow and then boom. But what? Oh, the ones inside the trunk. White lights in the trunk. Jeez. The car is almost complete. Like, we probably got one more rebuild video, and it's going to be pretty much done. I am happy because I haven't had my car since. Um, I don't even know. It's been like three weeks. It's almost close to a month. Our car hasn't been home. So the countdown is real. Hopefully we have the headlights by Thursday-ish. Today is Tuesday. And then we gotta wait for the headlight conversion kit. That should be here maybe Saturday-ish, if not the next Monday. After that, that's pretty much gonna be done. We just have to get the car clean and detailed and get the new stripes put on. Then after that, like, that's gonna be it. Oh yeah. She's not the ugly yellow ones no more. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with the SRT floodlights. I guess there's nothing I can do with them. I'm not even gonna reach out to the company because it is, it is what it is. So we just noticed that the scat pack little bash that went on the grill, it goes on there, but I have an SRT, so I wanted the SRT on there. It's not gonna fit right on because it don't have like a little stick on piece. So I'm not even gonna trip, we're gonna get like an RGB one to go with the headlights. So we can get like RGB SRT emblem. We can put that purple and match the purple, you know what I'm saying? So it's gotta be upgraded. And that's what we gonna do to get everything done. So y'all, we have made it to the end of the video. Y'all seen us put the LED puddle lights in um, license plate cover. I didn't show y'all that, I'm gonna show y'all that. Y'all seen us put the hood on with the um, system. We stood on this hood. <laughs> this hood is completely crumbled. It's over with. Scrap man, come get it. But I'm about to show y'all the license plate cover. It looked way better. Did you look at it? Oh, yeah, you did look at it back here. It looked way better. I'm not going to lie to you. Yes. Yeah. Now, when I looked at the reviews on this one. This one was like dark as fuck. So hopefully DPD don't give me too much of a hard time with it being dark. But... Nevertheless, um, this is the first video of the rebuild series. The next video is going to be us putting on the front bumper. And just like that, it's going to be over. The 392 is going to be back. Then after we do that, we're going to put the shikes back on the hood and the bumper. And it's going to be over with from there. So like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy eBay. Shout it. Um, I appreciate y'all so much. We just hit 8,000 subscribers. Everything is going through the roof, the subs, the revenue, everything. And I'm just very grateful. I'm just very grateful we turned the bad scenario into a good scenario. It's all about what you make things in life. So I'm not gonna keep talking all the day. I'm gonna see y'all when I see y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to Packer Punch. Hey, that shit ride. Uh, I ain't into the cap and let's keep it real. He could have held us man down, he took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live. I got the news from my sister, gave me chills. Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill. He popped these hands and I dog itching to do a drill.